What's up YouTube, it's your boy Tay here and I'm back with another video. And today we got some packs. Before I start this video, I wanna let you guys know I will stay to the end of the video. I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway winner in this video, so stay tuned to the end. And also I'm gonna be talking about some predictions. Let's get into it. Last time I opened up some packs, we got one diamond. I got a ton of packs here. We got 12 standard packs. We have 10 balls I have a pack. We have two silver player packs. Let's open the, ten, the two silver player packs first. And while we're here, man, it's, wow, we got a gold, okay. I'll take it, hey, let's get it. So as you see, as this video is coming out, it is opening day, today is opening day. We have the Yankees versus the Nationals, and we have the Giants versus the Dodgers, man. I wanna talk about some, some MLB predictions I had. I was gonna change my predictions that I already had before the pandemic and stuff happened. But I was like, I wanna stick to it. So I'm gonna talk about my 2020 MLB season predictions. While we're, while we're doing this, hopefully we can pull some diamonds doing this, man. I need a couple of diamonds, man. You see my stub count? I've been, I've been spending a lot of stubs on packs, man, and I gotta stop it. I gotta stop it. But I got all the cards now, so it's not like I really need anybody. I'm just doing it for fun. But, yeah, let's talk about my MOB 2020 season's predictions, man. Alright, so, I'm gonna, I don't... I don't believe, let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I don't believe anything changed. I know they have like their own divisions, but I'm just going to talk about what I think who's going to come out in the playoffs. And I'm going to announce my award, my award winners. So in the NL, because you know my team is the Phillies. So in the NL, I have the division winners as the Dodgers, Cardinals, and the Braves. Yeah, I got the Braves. I got the Braves as being the winners. I think they're a really good team, man. They have a, a lot of offense, and the Queen is, is a beast, dude. I, I can't even lie. Um, for my wild cards for the NL, I have the Reds and the Nationals. That's who I got, man. I got the, the Reds and the Nationals. I think the Reds are going to be really good this year, man, especially in the short season. I think they're going to be really good, and I still think the Nationals are going to be pretty good, um, even though I got killed for them. For... We got blue! <laughs> we got blue! Even though I got killed for saying they wasn't even going to beat the Dodgers and they went on to win the World Series and I got put on cold takes, but it's all right. But we got a diamond. Let's get it. Diamond pull already. I need to make some stubs. Hopefully this is good. Right fielder. Is this Bryce Harper? Are we going to get Bryce Harper to start off? Christian Yelich. Okay. I'll take Christian Yelich. He can definitely go back up at Bryce a little bit, especially with the season going on. Definitely see him start going up a little bit in price. I'll take it. I'll definitely take a Christian Yellick, man. That's a really good pull. But let's go to the AL. My AL winners are, I have the Astros. I still think the Astros are really, really good. I have the Twins and I have the Yankees. And for my wild cards, I have the Rays and the Athletics. The, if the Athletics are going to be a really good team. As we're going into these Ballings and the Habits packs, they're going to be a really good team this year. Um, especially with the Shoring Season. I think it's going to be really weird for the Shoring Seasons. A lot of people can go crazy as we get another. I need some diamonds. We need at least two diamonds in these packs. I'm going to talk about my Cy Young Award winners. I have for the end of... I don't know if this might be like a hot take. I got Jack Flaherty as my Cy Young Award winner for the NL. And for the AL, I have Garrett Cole, man. I think they're going to really need him. I think he's going to be a beast this year, man. Garrett Cole is a beast, and I think he will win the Cy Young Award. I was thinking about Jacob DeGrom for the NL again, but he already got nicked up, so I really don't trust it. And I and I had Matt Scherzer last year, and he didn't he didn't <laughs> he didn't come through for me. So yeah, I'm not putting him there for my MVPs. My MVPs for the NL. I talked about him already, but I have Okunia winning the NL MVP. I feel like he's gonna have a monster year this year, man. I really feel like he's gonna have a monster year. And for my AL, I was going to put Aaron Judge. It depends. But for my AL, it's going to be Mike Trout. If Mike Trout doesn't play most of the year, because he's, I mean, about the COVID thing, then I can, I would definitely put Aaron Judge there. But for right now, I'm going to keep my stance and keep Mike Trout there. We have two ball impacts yet, and we still haven't put a diamond in these ball impacts. But for the world, for my World Series, I think it's a, y'all going to say it's a cop out. I don't care. 
It's just, I feel like it's gonna happen this year. I have the Dodgers beating the Yankees in a World Series. That Dodgers team, if they can't win the World Series this year, they are never gonna win the World Series ever. I made, I talked about them on Twitter a lot that they are like the, the 90s Buffalo Bills when they just win like four straight Super Bowls and never won. Like I feel like that's the Dodgers. Like the Dodgers, like I don't understand how they haven't won a World Series yet. Like their teams has been stacked for years and they still haven't won a World Series. Um, a lot of the struggles pitching wise in October and in the postseason, but I definitely see them finally winning this year. Their, their team is just too low to offensively. They have the pitching. They have legit everything, man. They have the prospect. They have everything. I have them being a dot. I have them being the Yankees in the World Series. Let me know in the comment section what is your season prediction. I want to see you guys. Who you guys think is going to win it all? Let me know your guys MVPs, your Cy Youngs, your World Series guys. I definitely want to hear it. But hopefully my team, the Phillies. Hopefully they will get in the playoffs. I don't have them making the playoffs this year, but I think they're gonna be extremely close. They're just bullpen. I'm just scared about their bullpen, and I'm I'm kind of scared from some players on the Phillies. Like I'm really scared about Reese Hoskins right now. Um, I feel like he could be a big piece of the team, but I don't think he's looking too hot. Um, so hopefully he gets it together, but we got to trust on the bullpen and some pitching. Hopefully we have some good pitching and some good, good and some good bullpen play this year. But yeah, and for, before I end this video, I want to also announce the giveaway winner, Daniel Duval. You are the winner for 20 PSN. Hit me in the comment section or DM me on my Twitter or Discord. All of them links are in the description. I'm gonna give you to like Friday claim it. If you if you're not here by Friday to claim it, I'm going to give it away on stream. So I'm probably gonna live stream on Friday for a quick little bit before the, the Sixers play. So probably at three o'clock. So we can talk about the six inning cards. So Dylan, let me know in the comment section. DM me on Twitter or or Discord. The links are down in the description. I'm giving you a until Friday at three o'clock p.m. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. We pulled a diamond. Let's see how much, let's see how much Christian Yellers go for. I might be tripping. I don't think he really goes for much. And he goes for 12K. He doesn't go for much. I, I will, I'm gonna hold on to him. So hopefully he goes up, man. He definitely can be an MVP candidate this year. So hopefully keep him up. Hopefully he goes up in some price. Yeah, that's gonna do it for the video, man. A little quick video. Um, a little quick channel update too. I won't probably drop a Road to Glory video this week. Family's on vacation. Kind of want to just relax with them for this week. And we'll be back with it next week with a bunch of videos. So, I'm sorry about that. But I just want to get everything situated. Just be able to relax with the family for a little bit. So, I'll be back next week with the regular schedule. But it's your boy Tay. And I'm out. Peace.